What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's video I'm going to quickly show you how to install and how to download applications in here into your MacBook. If you're new to MacBook, I'm going to quickly show you how to download apps officially from App Store as well as installing it from a third-party software as well. We've got a few applications or softwares which are not official softwares by Apple themselves or recognized by Apple and we need to actually download them from the internet. So I'll be showing you this method as well. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So the very first way or the first method of how to install apps is to actually opening up the launch pad in here where we've got all apps in here and then we're going to be searching for app store so app store is an inbuilt app which comes with your operating system all you need to do is just tap once here on app store and you'll be able to see a lot of applications in here okay so by scrolling down we've got in here several different type of applications we've got paid apps as well as free apps as well and the cool thing that I like about App Store is that we've got categories here at the left. As you can see, we've got Arcade in here. We've got Create. If you want to be creative, you can search for apps that are going to increase your creativity. Next up, we've got Work in here. If you want to increase your productivity, we've got various apps here as well. Play if you're searching for games and develop. For example, if you want to develop a software or anything like that, if you want to code or program. Now, the category I like the most is actually categories here at the end, which actually gives me more options of categories in here. As you can see, we've got music, health and fitness, finance, business, lifestyle, and many other categories down here. So suppose you're searching for a specific app and you want to download it. All you need to do is just tap here on search here at the top left corner. We've got the search bar and then we're going to search for a specific app. In my case, for example, let me quickly search for Telegram. Tap on enter. Here we go. I've got the application right here, Telegram. All I need to do to install it is simply tap here on get. And then it's going to turn green. Next up, you're going to tap on install. Okay. So if it's your first time here opening up the app store, it's going to ask you to log in with your Apple ID iCloud in order to get access to the app store. Next up, it's going to ask you to authenticate, simply use your fingerprint or type in your user's password. It's going to take you a few seconds or minutes, depending on your internet speed, you're going to be able to see this circle right here while Telegram gets downloaded and automatically installed into your MacBook device. Now, there's a possibility of not finding specific apps in here because in order to have your app in here, the company needs to actually pay a fee in order to have them here on the App Store, right? For example, let me quickly search for VLC Media Player Suppose I want to download v VLC Media Player. As you can see, I'm unable to find VLC in here. It's not in here. But if I go to the internet, I can download VLC and install it into my MacBook. Let's quickly install VLC by downloading it from the internet sources. So here I am. We're now on our internet browser. We're going to hop into google.com. Okay, if that's not your main search engine here. Next up, we're going to search for the specific app. Okay, so let's go with VLC Media Player, free download. And then we should go all the way to the official website of VLC, which is this one, download VLC. And then over here, we'll be able to see the different operating systems which are supported by the application. Okay. So in my case, we've got in here a Mac OS compatibility down here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to tap on download VLC. So you want to search for a specific section of the website where you have the download option. Each website has its own design and own style. So you're going to search for it and tap on download. Okay. So here we go. In a few seconds, the download should start. And here is the installation file. So what we want to do next is simple double click to open up the installation file. This is either a DMG file or a PKG file. These are the formats of the installers that are used to install apps here on the Mac operating system. 
Once you download, you probably are going to see something that looks like this, like it's going to ask you to select the file and to drag it all the way to applications. And this is how you install apps on your MacBook device. We're going to select the app. We're going to simply drag it all the way to applications and then we're going to drag it here. OK, this is how you're going to do it. And the installation process will immediately start. So it asks me for 10 seconds to move the file into the applications folder let me just wait for a couple seconds and once this is done we'll be able to see vlc here in the launchpad simply open up launchpad and you'll be able to see vlc down here as you can see we installed vlc and telegram telegram from the app store and vlc from the internet and because we installed it from the internet from a third party source it doesn't even show up the blue icon which says that it's a new app for example <laughs> but it's okay no worries most important is to have the app in here let me open up vlc it's gonna verify it it's gonna ask you whether you want to open it as you've downloaded it from a third party source simply tap on open if you trust the website and the specific application and the app should be up and running down here so this is how you actually install apps from the App Store as well as from third party sources from the Internet. Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video. And if you have any doubt or any question, please do leave a comment down below and I'll make sure I reply to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching Fixed by Shaq and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.